was creating. Uh, it's kind of like, I don't know, man. Sometimes concealment isn't, uh, it's not always uh, something that's, you know, uh, it's not an evil thing always. Because it's, it's, there's this old saying, it goes, uh, you're walking around with your heart on your sleeve. So, I mean, that's, that's the fact that, I mean, that you're, uh, you're telegraphing your emotional state of mind, not your logical state of mind, because it's obvious, it's obvious. if you see a person all geared up in the emotional content, they're, they're quick to anger. They're quick to perceive betrayal and revenge. And they don't have very thick skin. They are very tender foot. Their boat is easily rocked. And I mean, if, if you've ever been in a canoe, if your canoe rocks, the last thing you want to do is panic and, and, and add to the, you know, commotion. You actually got to kind of, uh, you, you want to sit up straight, very straight and calm. You know, and, and just resist uh, subtly. You know, it's like you you don't you want the energy to go back to stillness where it's just rest and balanced. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And if you're highly in this emotional state, it doesn't matter what gets you there, how it gets you there. The end result always, mostly, ends up the same. There is a, a flip side to operating off the off pure emotion, you know, like, like good emotion. If you're so skilled and adept that you can stay there and redirect back to the good, back to the good. I mean, you're you're a, just a that's working positive uh, vibes through all. You know, the ripple effect does affect your environment, the world around you. Uh, so it's 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 a worthy cause to pursue and and my it, even if it costs you everything it's a worthy pursuit if you can actually attain that and achieve that i mean um uh, but most people they're, they're regular people and look they have emotions they are their flesh is alive they're uh and it doesn't want to die it knows that hey it has a short time here on earth so it makes people act in extremes a lot the you know self-preservation i mean that is a strong drive that's what compels to people to betray and connive connive you unto death even so i mean sometimes like you know uh you gotta literally in the span of your lifetime somehow achieve a state where y your flesh is dead to where even if people say the most meanest, horrible things to you, that it will not move you, and it will not change what you got going on, you know, if, uh, because if they can provoke you to anger, to act out, then it justifies the reaction that they're going to do to you, it's a bait, the emotion bait, the race bait, the uh, heart bait. That's why if you walk around with your heart on the sleeve, a person, this person might not care about anything anyway. So what he says to you doesn't even mean jack shit to him. But the fact that it affects you is is the is the flaw there. And and that comes from not properly putting on your armor. Yeah, I mean in the Bible it's called the whole armor of God. And I mean if there indeed be such a thing, this is part of it right here. It's it's having your not not that your heart is concealed, but it's like, listen, it's got a protective layer there before you can get to it. It's like you reveal it when you can. It's like it says if you cast your pearls before the swine, they're going to gnash you with the teeth. You know what I'm saying? And, and it happens out here. You got to, I guess, you you have to have it done to you. You got to be the guy in the middle of the, you know, mob throwing fruit uh, to learn, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, what this really means, because listen, if you're too much into your ego and flesh, that will kill you to have that done to you, you know what I'm saying, it, it will kill you anyway, 
So I even at so you got to be dead to that side of your uh that the, that emotional mind. You know what I'm saying? Cuz even if, you know, uh, the the wisdom mind, you know, the 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 you know, the, the one that works on math, the one that works on exact sciences, not 2 plus 2 equals 5, the creative side of the mind, the exact side of the mind, the facts and uh, evidence, you know what I'm saying, all stacked up in your memory. I mean, uh, th th when you operate from that side, you know what I'm saying, but at the same time, you know, you got, you've, you've, added the spiritual component into the equation I mean these are the realms uh, you know what I'm saying where it, it would look as if superpower you know what I'm saying but it's not really necessarily superpower it's more like uh, it's if you could attain it if you were seeking it for the right reason I mean I guess on the flip side you could attain it for all the wrong reasons because it just seems that's the way things work. You know, it's easier to do wrong. So it seems like it would be easier to attain it if you were coming at it through that side of the, you know, uh, the chess game. Uh, but it's like concealment, you know. You got to conceal your emotions sometimes. You got to push them down. You know what I'm saying? I mean, not don't ignore them, but look. You gotta deaden yourself up to it. You gotta thicken your skin. You gotta, uh, you know, you you gotta uh, fix your mind in advance. That look, this is what I have. This is what the truth reveals itself. This is what it is, and and that's all I can say that is right. It's not me. It's something outside of me. There, I'm a flawed individual. I'm a, just a man. I'm just a human. But yet, you know, the truth, if it truly is the truth, truth, God's honest truth, it's the truth. It's mathematic side of the mind. It's not creative side of the mind. There is a definite line. You know what I'm saying? And there's different, it's a different, there are opposites on each side of the line, man. It's a war. You know, it's so, you gotta already know it's like that. You gotta just work at being stoic. There, there's a good word. It's just stoicism. It's where you don't say much. You don't reveal much. You just just go so calm and uh, you know it's almost like you're dead. But when you go dead like that, you're not. There's no personality there. There's no ego. You're just like a sponge. You can you can take it all in. When you start to hit there. Because if you're worried about, man, this is how I'm going to look in front of these people if I say this. That's because you're you're afraid, man. You're afraid that people are going to laugh at you, throw fruit at you. Are going to, uh, you're going to, uh, people, I mean, literally, I mean, you start saying the right stuff. I mean, the truth is so just harsh, man. And, uh, I mean, it is, it is, it's reptilian brain, dude. Straight up. That's the truth. It's so reptilian. It's insane, but I mean, when you drop that shit on people, sometimes it's like I'm trying to drop this reptilian shit on you, man. But st yet, like, we still have to maintain our our humanity, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like don't succumb to the reptilian uh, thinking, man, because it's cold blooded. I mean, basically cold hearted, uh, uh, just straight cunning. You know, there is no right or wrong. That is a powerful force. That's someone who's capable of anything. And this is who is against you if you want to bust outside of their matrix, you know, their mold that they've uh, constructed so, you know, uh, dedicatedly, man, for, for you know, uh, thousands of years. I mean, this has been going on. <laughs> so these people are really dedicated to the reptilian cause, man. Uh, but... It's like they're they operate in concealment, but it's a different kind of concealment, and it's uh, it's it's all for evil, um, selfish, or small inclusiveness. You know what I'm saying? Elitist. You know what I'm saying? It's, there's only so many 
seats on the boat, well, uh, kill everyone. <laughs> Let's get on the boat. That's that's their mindset. I remember, what well, I think it was, that's what was called critical thinking. That was the first question. They said, if there was a boat and there's only so many people, who would you keep on the boat? You know what I'm saying? It's just their, that's that Machiavellian, reptilian way of thinking, man. Uh, the ends justify the means. So, you gotta, you know, you gotta keep your guard up at all times and uh, not get baited in to a intense, emotional, uh, you know, a me versus you. If you ain't with me, you must be against me, so I must destroy you type, uh, you know, Skeletor and He-Man uh, type of situation, scenario. Because uh, they happen all the time, man. It's just people... They, get, they work themselves up into this fucking emotional rage. And you can see that they're not operating uh, out, of, out of smarts or even uh, actual memory or mathematics that are exact. They're operating over here in the creative side. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The, the way they're speaking is creative. So it's like, look, all right, you're getting all crazy making shit up as you go. You, then you got to make more shit up to cover up the shit that you might have exaggerated. So it, it, that's why when you become dead, it's like, you know, you're, it's like trying to st set stones on fire. You know, they, they just, they don't burn. You know, they might get hot, you know what I'm saying, simmer for a minute, but they don't really burn. It, you got to become like that sometimes. You got to, you know, it, uh or it's like a sponge, a dry sponge will catch on flames. But if you douse that with some water, you know what I'm saying, it will be resistant to a, I mean, it's, you can apply physical things to just, you know, uh, like mental, psychological things all the time. Anything that's on some real, you should be able to apply it this way and that way, and it should be true both ways. And, and, back and vice versa again it, that's how you figure out what is truth you gotta at, you gotta find three witnesses that agree three things that agree like what does it say about three things bear witness the water the blood the spirit it's like spirits ghosts they bear witness it's a record of someone out what they did their life sometimes that's what people say in Blood, it's got DNA in it, but blood is 90% water or 80% water anyway. Water supposedly has memory. It's like by it being around different energy sources and vibrations, it changes the water, the, the structure of the water molecularly. So therefore, look, these three things bear witness. I mean, so you, you basically, you know, if the science, if the mythology... The historical documents all jive together and then you you see a bunch of people that have a similar kind of understanding of things that's like three witnesses boom and then you you find four or five motherfucker you're on the truth you're on the it's the truth you i mean but you, you still uh i guess i can understand you know certain amounts of concealment when it comes to that not wearing your heart on your sleeve you know what i'm saying and plus you know uh you don't want to reveal to the enemy all your whole playbook. You don't want to mail him your playbook the night before the Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? So, I guess, you know, concealment. And when, when things are hidden, but yet you're not trying to conceal them intentionally for anything sinister, that I think that is okay. You know? But, because but, concealment necessarily doesn't mean lie or uh, deceive. It just, it's, I don't know. You just, if you go about it, you got to do it right. Because if you just start just doing it any old way, and where you start breaking rules, and it, you know, it defeats the purpose of doing something right when you do all these wrongs to do your rights. You know what I'm saying?